I just think this Tennessee basketball team might be the most unpredictable team in the Sweet 16, and I'm going to tell you why right now. Four Downs brought to you by Dynasty Pools and Spas. Four Downs brought to you by Dynasty Spas, the most comfortable spas made in the United States of America, right here in East Tennessee. Drop in for the all-new showroom in Athens, Dynasty Spas, perfect for all four seasons. Four Downs presented by Off the Hook Sports. Oh, you got to love the bubbles, and here are some of the reasons. First, Cooper Mays, what should we do? Cooper Mays here. Hit like and subscribe. What down, Coop? Coop here. First down. All right, four reasons why Tennessee is the most unpredictable team in the Sweet 16. It is the second closest Sweet 16 line. Caleb, what does that mean to you? It it means that Vegas thinks it's going to be pretty close, right? Yeah, so uh, our friends over at Bet US have set the lines for all eight Sweet 16 games over the weekend. And Tennessee is ranging from... There, it's no matter what line you go, you're in the two and a half to three point line for, for Tennessee. Tennessee is favored over Creighton. They are on Bet US. They are favored by three. The only line that is smaller is the first. It's tonight's Sweet Sixteen game, um, Illinois Iowa State. Iowa State is favored by one and a half. So. Uh, this is supposed to be a close game. I also think it's unpredictable because I don't think St. Peter's was very good, and I don't think Texas was very good. So given the competition that Tennessee's faced, I really am not 100% sure if they're playing at a high level or not, given their last two games of the season in the SEC tournament and against Kentucky, respectively. I'm not 100% sure, based off those four last four games, if Tennessee's playing lights out or pretty good. Yeah, honestly, the last game they played where we have a lot to go on with Tennessee would have been the South Carolina game, you're right. And even then, I didn't think that South Carolina team was that good. They um, Lamont Paris coached them into the NCAA tournament. They no. weren't really good enough to be there. You know what I mean? So... <laughs> No doubt. No doubt. Completely agree with you. And all right, let's go third down here. Uh, Coop, what do you Wait, got? Second down. Second down. Coop, come on, Coop. Cooper Mays here. Second down. All right, Coop. Second down is... Dave Lehman, the center over here. That's right. It's quarterback. He, he'd be it's a typical a, quarterback. This is a title caliber team. Do you really believe that with Creighton? Creighton or Tennessee? Well... I, I thought you – are they both title-caliber teams? Yeah, that's the thing. I think they're both title-caliber teams, but the reason I was – but um, Tennessee being a title-caliber team is what I think makes them so unpredictable in the Sweet 16, the most unpredictable team in the Sweet 16, because there okay, are other factors. Going the other, at our 3.45 a.m. production meeting, I thought you were going the other direction. The fact that Tennessee is playing a title-caliber team – makes them more unpredictable. I think we're both right, even though we didn't know what each other were talking about. No, that's very true. They are playing a – they're both title caliber teams, and Tennessee's playing a title caliber – let's call it what it is – group of five team. So we don't know if Creighton is the next Gonzaga or if they're just last year's Florida, Atlantic, or San Diego State. We don't know that, honestly. And it's if I had one of pick- those – if I had to pick, I'd pick an extended version of the latter. What would you pick? I'd actually pick the Gonzaga one, the former. But I understand why you picked the latter. I understand why you picked the latter. But that does make them hard to predict because we know what Tennessee is largely. We should know what Creighton is. I mean, they play in the Big East. It's not like – I mean, in basketball, it's not like they're like, they're playing tough competition week in and week out. But they're not Power 5. So you don't know exactly what to expect from them as an overall program. And that yeah. does make them more predictable. So I'll give you that. Go ahead and click that like button, subscribe. Let's bring some more people in here. I want your thoughts, your comments on Tennessee being a what favorite again? They are a three-point favorite on BetUS. It's a little close. It's a little close to me. Um, We'll see how that shakes out. I I would lean towards Tennessee. What down, Coop? Tennessee center Cooper Mays here. Third down. All right. Thank you, Coop. I appreciate that. History of flameouts by, well, both schools we could say again, but 
uh, expectations are usually higher with Tennessee, given their history. History tends to repeat itself. Gamblers will tell you this. To me, we could always make the argument of what does an Ernie and Bernie flame out mean to a uh, Jordan Ganey, whose parents weren't alive when that happened, much less him. I don't know, but doesn't it seem like history repeats itself on these goofy things? Yeah, I think part of this is, I think humans subconsciously try to make a pattern out of everything. And because we do that as humans, we tell ourselves the pattern is real and therefore it becomes real because psychologically we make it real. And I think that's a big thing with with winning in basketball and football where you kind of start to tell yourself that something's going to go wrong. And because that's in your mind, you let it go wrong. And yeah, I think that's, that's very common. I think that's why Tennessee football has tr- trouble with Florida every year. I think honestly, it gets in their minds. The, the talk around campus, the culture creeps into the players' minds. This game is cursed. You're snake bitten when you play. And then the minute thing, something goes wrong in the Florida game, they panic and then everything unravels. I see that a little bit with Tennessee basketball and Rick Barnes himself. They both have that. I see that a little bit. I could too. Uh, hit that like button. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. And then fourth down, you talk about unpredictable. I'm going to tell you why I think they're incredibly unpredictable. Four downs brought to you by Dynasty Pools and Spas. They deliver within 125 miles. No fillers in the chemicals that they have. They're the best out there. And the, everything, including the chemicals for your pool and spa and including the chemicals for uh, your hot tub, are local that's pretty awesome i'll give you the reason why tennessee so unpredictable after i tell you a little bit about dynasty pools and spas just imagine having the best spas made right here in the united states of america in your backyard what about that dynasty pools and spas their showroom is open in athens right off the interstate you can stop by and check out the best hot tubs and spas in the market. And then delivery, yes, they can do that. It's Knoxville or Chattanooga. They've got complete support spa cover and chemicals to keep your spa bubbling at its best. They also have pool chemicals as well. Dynasty pools and spas, amazing discounts for first responders, military, and even some blemish models. It can save you a ton and no one will ever notice. Mention Off the Hook Sports, get $500 off. Mention Off the Hook Sports, get $500 off. Dynasty Pools and Spas. Go to DynastyPoolsAndSpas.com or stop by that showroom in Athens. DynastyPoolsAndSpas.com. Dynasty Pools and Spas. And don't forget, they deliver within 125 miles of that awesome showroom in Athens. All SEC Center, Cooper Mays here. Fourth down. Thank you, Coop. You scared me. This team's unpredictable in the way that they win basketball games. So, yes, they're the most unpredictable team in the Sweet 16, because they won basketball games just saying, Dalton, do something. They've won basketball games with Jonas Adu having a big game. They've won games all kinds of different ways. If you want to go back two years with Vescovi getting hot, I mean, this is a team that can win in multiple different ways. So I think they're the most unpredictable team in the tournament. I think that's very fair. Yeah, they've won games in so many – you are right. They've won games in so many different ways, um, including last week against Texas. That's a game that I never would have thought Tennessee could win in the NCAA tournament. I did not think that's the type of NCAA tournament game you can win, and they they won it. And so I think you're right. That does make them unpredictable. And it's just everything about this team says they should go to the Elite Eight. Everything you see about the way this team is constructed says they should go to the Elite Eight. And if it wasn't for the history, we would we would think it's a lock. But because of the hit, I mean, honestly, I think I actually think that skewed the line. I think it'd be about a five and a half point line, honestly. I, what's for the history? I, I completely agree. History factors into that. There are a lot of people that will just see Tennessee as oh, that's that team that screwed me over, and I don't want any part of them because I had them going deep in my bracket back when they had that Vincent Yarbrough guy and that Tony Harris guy, and man, they never came through for me. So I'm not going as far. That skews the numbers. That absolutely skews the numbers, so I don't think there's any doubt. To me, it feels like Tennessee's about six or seven points better, but it's about three, so there we go. (laughs) 